stupid fucking phone. Look, this is... I installed this notepad app so that I could have a place to type notes for myself as reminders. It's all I wanted was to type out notes, but for some god awful reason, it came with this like added phone bullshit. So every time I get a phone call, it cuts over to this like superfluous phone screen. They were just trying to be more helpful than really they should have. Uh, so now my camera cut off because I got a phone call and when they hung up, it brought up the screen and it turned off my camera to do it. App. Okay, anyway. Where was I? Oh yeah, that guy didn't marry me. This is like the story of my whole dating life is like, there's the pre-sex bullshit and then there's the post-sex bullshit to get me to dump them or leave so they can say, it wasn't me. I mean, is that respectful? Do you think, fellows, do you think that that's respectful? Do you like it when other people bullshit you? I know there's a lot of like pride amongst bullshitters of being able to get away with bullshit, but not having bullshit done back to you because you're so smart about bullshit. Are you smart about anything real? Because like, that's not really that hot to me, to be quite honest. Anyway. Oh, yes, the borders, and then they kind of, they started flooding. I was like, let's let the immigrants in because we don't, we're not having enough babies anyway. And, like, the economy is essentially built on real estate. I really know very little about money. That's what boys do, hypothetically. They don't actually do that anymore. Like, if you don't want to be married, that's cool. But, you know, like... Why do I just only get endless bullshit? Just endless forever bullshit, right? Anyway, so like the guy judged me, but like I guess I passed because I called him back for another date and then he showed up and he was like kind of grumpy and uh, he was very rude. It's like, look, nobody's forcing you to be here, buddy. It's not like I haven't been dumped before. I'm fucking 40 years old. Nobody, nobody wants to go out with somebody who doesn't actually want to be there. Like, but, <sighs> anyway. Oh, yes, and then I told... They asked me if I, so they asked me if I was going to yell at the border patrol guys. And I was like, no, I'm not because they're men. And that's what men do. They mark territories and then they patrol those borders. And anybody who comes in has to deal with them, go pass or, or leave that that's, it's not just human males. It's like all of them. That's, what they do so I'm not gonna yell at them for being men and I, I'm a woman I just want to feed people and give them blankies I, just okay just well I'm guessing that God made both of them so that you know we can hypothetically get like you know compensate for one another's weaknesses and you can get more done together. Two heads are better than one. And male and female brain are better than two man brains or two women brains. So saith the uh, random number generator experimenters. If that was a true story, which maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Anyway. So then the Whore of Babylon, so they asked me, like, what do you think of Queen Elizabeth? 
a little bit psychically though not really real questions but whatever if you guys know everything that i say magically even though i'm alone in my house then you're gonna hear what i have to say if you want to eavesdrop then that's what's gonna happen so then okay Are we, oh yes <laughs> Do you like one and only not racist white person? Uh, maybe. I, I've met other ones. You guys just don't look for them. I, I, it's, other black people come, like say I'm not racist. It's like a, so anyway. It's not me saying it. It's other white people, FYI. It's black people that, that said that, not me bear witness of yourself you bear false witness so like don't take my word for it anyway but it was still a little bit Babylonian those two things that I did and I felt really bad and there I didn't do anything it was like several days before I were before it was called up to me then some of the good things that I had done of which there were also not that many really genuinely selfless things because they're not they're not fun they're not fun and but you do them anyway <sighs> so yeah so then here's like supposedly then so they're all like what would you do if you were the queen and let me point this out <laughs> i am not a queen queens are illegal in the united states it just happened to do a whole lot better at it than you thought I would. And now you're like mad that you don't get to be all like, apparently like the man child is like, I, I, I'm okay. I'm not really sure. I understand the clothes with some part sort of, I didn't know that when I read revelation, right? So then God's all like, that's you. I'm reading that part. And I'm like, no, it's not. And he's like, yeah, no, it is. Like, no, 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 I'm reading the story and like, I can understand enough of it. And my dad's like, it already happened. So I'm like, yeah, you did it already, right? And he's like, no, your dad was wrong. I'm like, what? So we had an argument about it, which is where then uh, we was led down the path of sociological evidence, which is supposed to go in the book. I'm like, nope, it wasn't me supposed to be writing a book but I need to pay my bills still though also while I write it nobody want to marry me I don't want to marry somebody who doesn't want to marry me so I've drugged slept with you a certain number of times if you haven't asked me to like advance or progress in some way then I just walk you're not into it you're gonna dump me one day anyway I don't care like let me just skip to that part right we tried, it didn't work out again. But you know, do I stop giving men chances? No, I don't. I still go out with one once or twice a year. Probably gonna stop now though, because I'm old. But hang on, what? Oh yeah, and then I so then like I tell them they ask me these questions and I tell them and then like they do stuff to deliberately make it turn out bad, so then that I look bad. But it, okay. but you did that on purpose. It's not a naturally occurring set of events, so it doesn't count. It doesn't mean you're smarter than me. I don't know who they are. I, I have no idea. I don't know the specifics. I do know that both Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama, and then also Barack Obama, routinely get paid $400,000 a pop to go talk for 45 minutes where they say exactly what I said over again, but with less comprehension and understanding. 
So you want judgment, kings of the earth. You have to be judged. And that's how I did it, which I've told you at least 50 times already. And that's how I did it. I asked him to judge me and he did. And then after all of that pain and self-loathing, I get a little bit of water. Just a compliment. Oh, I'm not totally worthless. Oh. And then after that, you can go out into the world with your new eyes, brand new for starting from scratch all over again, like a child. What's that? What's that? What's that? And redefining all these little tiny concepts that everybody forgets they did when they were five. But that's part of your, that's part of your programming and your makeup. Everybody does it and then they forget that they did it. So anyway, Kings of the earth, if you want judgment, that's what you have to do.